Hi Alexis, um, this will be some video feedback for you on Milestone 1, which is the uh, web banner. And um, if you have any questions or difficulties uh, between now and the end of the term, we've got four weeks, don't hesitate to reach out. I publish my number in my announcements. Um, I wish you the best and I uh, <clears throat> look forward to seeing you apply your visual assets to the uh, web banner. Here's your package of things. Um, I'm not sure which you have it. I think it looks like you have two versions uploaded. I'll look at the second. Um, and you have a PDF here, which includes, uh, looks like sketches. That's great. Now, um, the other thing you want is screenshots. And you'll knit those into a final document. But sketching by hand like this is also good. I really like the quality of your handwriting. Um, you know, that could be useful in a graphic design project, perhaps in the future, your handwriting. So nice job on that. Um, I'm going to open up, I guess, this. I'll open them both up just to see what we get. Now, I'm opening them in Illustrator. Um, this is telling me that you have linked them rather than embedded them. So let me show you what a bare bones document you get if you do not embed images. That's it, okay? So, uh, but fear not, well, I can open this up in um, Acrobat. And it would take a while to convert, but uh, we can just wait for that. Now, in the meantime, what I think I'll do is I'll go to your uh, discussion board image. Alexis, this is, you know, very unique. Um, the first thing I notice is the, the monochrome against the green. Now, it's not... Um, strictly speaking, corporate palette, but you have used the gray version of the, of the logo, and the gray is one of the corporate colors. So um, this is, for me, this is really unique. I see a lot of these, um, and I've ne I haven't ever seen anything like this, you know, where you've used a corporate color, but it's actually monochrome. Uh, consider, though, you know, it is Amethyst Bay. <clears throat> I don't know, maybe it's just my expectation to see some purple in there. And you've got quite a few sizes of type. I like the contrast to scale of this, relax and unwind, against some of the smaller type, but here's one, two, three, maybe four, five sizes of type. I think you could do all of this in only three. Careful of your margins, you know, uh, magazines are trimmed, so you don't want to lop off anything important. And um, I think your contact information can be very small. So I'll take a look at this. Um, actually, I did take a look at this, I think, in Illustrator. And I see that you have linked to your files rather than embedded them. But I'll take, I'll take a look at it again um, just to confirm that. Okay, yeah, Alexis, this is exemplary. Um, you've got everything on its own layers. I can turn them on or off at will. Now, here's a little detail. You know, uh, here's an occasion probably to use an end dash and a, or an end dash that's um, a bit smaller or a bit, a bit longer than a hyphen so uh, I'm not sure I have it organized it looks like you've got can I, can I even edit these things do you have each character on its own box well I can see where that would make it easier to align things um, but <clears throat> you know maybe better just to um, Hmm. It's option hyphen gives you an M dash. Option shift hyphen gives you an M dash. And maybe you just want a hyphen. That's what you had. Okay, you might want to put some breathing space on either side of it. Uh, maybe not that much. But, you know, anyway, center it in there. And make sure your baselines uh, line up, too. Here they don't. And whatever you can do to make it comfortably fit within that circle, it's pretty good right now. Uh, again, you know, beat up the number of sizes of type you've got here, and considering maybe just a, it's just a touch of purple. You know, maybe it, maybe it's this. Uh, I don't know. Um, would that just would that be just too much? Whoops, I didn't get it right. Well, you get the idea. 
uh, something to refer to the corporate palette. Good job, great uh, materials. I look forward to seeing how you adapt them to the web banner.